a genius. I've never worked a piece of track equipment a day in my life. But if you want a big cushion, you got to have that thing right there. And you got to till the thing at least six inches deep. That's my opinion. Correct me if I'm wrong. A busy day here. And they got the extreme outlaw midgets and all the good cars have showed up. We also got the MOA sprints. That's why you see the wing car in the background. So doing double duty tonight. Also running, uh, kind of running wrenches on Corbin's car. Donnie's going to help me kind of take care of it because I'm going to be pretty busy in the cars and everything. But uh, hey, thanks for watching Timez TV. Uh, another beautiful day at the racetrack. It's supposed to be 80 degrees this weekend and the summer is almost behind us. So I've been enjoying myself, been working on this thing this week and uh, it was a beautiful day to be out in the garage just working on race cars. This place always has a ton of cars. Carter Sharp, he's always really good with the midget. Looks like we got Joe B. Miller here. He's always really good with the wing car. Uh, we got we got Paul Neenheiser. So Keith showed up, and I'm told uh, Denny's first night in the Keith Coons car, so he might be moving over to the uh, the dark side, is what I'm gonna call it. Jacob Denny, he's he's one of the good guys. He won the last time we were here. done with engine heat and uh, got everything fired off uh, looks like I'm starting in the tail of the of the heat with that so about to go hot lap that first track looks pretty wet they had some rain today and so you know you can expect it to be a little wet in the infield but all right we got hot laps here and this is the first time I've watched this uh, footage and I realized my GoPro is set on linear mode instead of super wide view. So this is the shot we got but the car was really good. You can see it's a little, I got all the brakes there and it just turned left on me and then it's trying to just pull the front tires off the ground the entire time. They were only giving us three laps, so they don't kill the track. They got a lot of cars. They got 40 sprint cars and uh, 35 midgets. So, you know, we're gonna start in the tail of the sprint car feature though, or the heat race. So it's a passing point thing. I gotta go forward. Camera's probably gonna get dirty. Sorry about that. All right, so Corbin's quick time, which means the car was really close. Um, definitely dumped out a little bit of oil because I put eight quarts when they only call for seven, but I, I don't care. I'd rather blow it out than be low. What the tax say? It says 95, 67, 96. Eh, that's good enough. I'm okay with that. All right, so we start 10th here. In the back, I make a pretty nice little move here. I got a guy on the inside of me, and I kind of chop him off get underneath the two cars you just seen and pick three cars off on the start. This is huge because it's an accumulative points system and passing points really gets you that extra. If we're going to start at the back, if we can get to fifth, that's going to get us the same points as running second. Picked off another car. We're just plugging away here. The curb is super big and uh, it's kind of getting guys tight and so I was getting below guys and picking them off when the curb would eat them up. Go do the diamond, go high, come off low, didn't work there, got real good run here and uh, burn a slider off on a guy. I have to watch this video like five times before I can pretty much voice over it and call the shots the way it is because I don't remember how this stuff happens on the racetrack. But I absolutely appreciate every one of you for clicking on the channel and helping make 
Timez TV what it is. We're getting ready to go to Australia to run a wing car in November. Alright, we just got done with the sprint car and the heat race and uh, we went fifth from 10. So that puts us in the feature. We should start eighth, but you can hear the midgets are out there. I'm in the third race. I gotta get the midget. Hey, thank you so much for clicking on the channel and watching. If you're interested in some merch, I got some really good shirts, shoptimez.com. All right, it is feature time here at Jacksonville Speedway. We ended up drawing a four pill. I was racing the midget, so I didn't even draw it, but we start fourth. They just reworked the entire track. Well, I shouldn't say that. They reworked the bottom and the top. And uh, so this should get interesting. It's gonna be a new track until it cleans off.
this isn't over. If I can just keep the thing under the curb, I'm reeling in second place again. But I get the thing tied off of two, jump the curb. The curb is giant there. But that's okay. Keep after it. Do the diamond. The diamond's kind of tough to make happen, but I get, get it to work and it gets me down the straightaway a little bit faster than I've been running. And I feel like that's why I kept entering above. It just was entering me too fast. And it's hard to slow the wing car down because as soon as you touch the brakes, it turns left. So it's not like your typical street car where you use the brakes to slow your car down on entry. This thing is like its own beast. But we're, we're still reeling in second. Oh, no, we just went checkered. We end up running third. But I was pumped. And that is a wrap on the video. We podiumed made a little bit of money can't thank the crew enough kenny pope kenton and phil and noah thanks for watching hope you're having a wonderful day